know, and yeah, it is. It's the dog on a scent yep. that mm-hmm. they turn you on to that and they get, they're just really bringing that out in people that exists in every guy who made mm-hmm. it through buds. So all they're doing is honing oh, it yeah. and bringing it out in you. Cause if you don't have that internally, no one can give it to you. Right. So we're just going to hone it and kind of bring it out and make sure that it's, you know, it's at the forefront of your mind that, you know, you can read amazing stories of adventures around the world or seals or, or, you know, other special forces or war. The common thing on all those stories, you never hear the stories about the people who quit. There's not like some fabulous story about some, you know, amazing battle or whatever it was that everybody just laid down and quit. That, those people get forgotten and right. they don't make the stories, right. right? It's in those situations. You never, I remember one I had, um, we were, we were going, we were doing this, um, ship attack. So we were supposed to be diving in and come into the ship and all meet, climb the ship and then, you know, take down the ship. Right. And we come in and we drop our draggers under the thing. And we start, my partner and I start swimming under the pier to go link up with everybody else. And I dove under one of those trellises, like one of the trellises. Now I don't have my kid on anymore or anything like that. I just kind of was sinking under. It was like two feet underwater. Yeah. And I go dive down and go under this thing and I start to come up and I'm caught something on my kit had caught on that. And I'm like a foot below the surface of the water and I'm struggling. I'm pushing back down. I'm pushing back up and I'm getting to the point where, you know, the gulping thing we do. Yeah. Oh yeah. (laughs) So I'm out of air. I'm trying to trick myself now and start gulping and sit there and go, I can't believe this. I'm going to fucking die a foot. For, I can see like the surface. Yeah. So you have right. a choice. You're like, am I just going to sit here and do, or am I going to fight with every last piece and not quit? So I kind of calmed down and then tried more things, tried more things, kept gulping, kept gulping, pushing, shoving. You know, I was going to break that trellis if I had to. Yeah. And eventually it lets loose and up I come, I pop up. There's my swim buddy. Hey, what the fuck were you doing, dude? Let's go. Yeah, that's I'm the like, best hey, part. Where was I for? I, I dude, almost I died. Like, think I was no, no, that's a real thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> looking for lobsters. Yeah, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? Making all that noise? Quit fucking around. Excuse my language. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> but that, he's like, man, I was dying. I almost, di- I did die. I was drowning. I was trying to. Because you don't care if you get busted. It's almost like game off. Let's. let's yeah. And then your swim buddy rolls up. He's like, man, you're making too much noise. Be quiet. You're like. I'm dying. <laughs> don't even care, dude. And I mean, that's the funniest. When, I don't know what that is and how, because most people be like, man, are you all right? Let's get a hug in there. And they're like, quit messing around. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. It, it's, it's so it brilliant. Is. It's a different way that you look <laughs> so at life brilliant. and that misery and the shared piece of it. And, and you know, you know what you recognize too, a very unique thing I think to the teams is, well, not, it's probably not just unique to the teams, but you really learn to recognize the difference between complaining and bitching oh yeah those are different (laughs) very different things so that humor all that stuff you know when that guy's miserable and he's he's just bitching to vent and he's being humorous but he's not complaining complaining, and wallowing in his own misery so no nobody wallows in their own misery Mm -mm. guys won't tolerate that they bring you out of it but you can be funny as shit bitching during stuff and those are the best those they say the they say a bitch and sailor is a happy sailor. So when you start yeah. hearing somebody complain, <laughs> listen, because the comedy that rolls out of that is is amazing. Yeah. And I, the funniest thing about his story is, as you know, if there's a list, list of guys behind him, he's like, look, look, the boss is drowning up there. <laughs> <laughs> How much longer? How much longer you think he got? Oh man, dude. should should we get him? No, no, no. Let's see. No, no. <laughs> He's got it. Let's see how he does this. Or you're, oh, you're hypothermic or whatever. I had that oh, same. Oh, because you know it was miserable, right? Yeah, it had to be. That's the only time oh, we're same, engaging. Is that same sucks. one? That same op? Dude. It was. Uh, I had slept in poison ivy like the night before, oh, so man. I was like, "Fuck this! I'm not wearing a wetsuit. I'm not just going to trap that stuff in there. It's only going to be a short dive. Oh, dude. Uh, I'll dude. just skin it and I'll get you know the salt water on. It'll be good." Be good. No. <laughs> what was going to be a 20 minute dive turned into an hour. I'm like no. freaking hypothermic, shaking, still doing all this stuff. I can't stop shaking. I got to climb this ladder. And dudes look at me like, dude, stop shaking, man. You're not going to be able to shoot anything. <laughs> <laughs> I stop shaking. Look at my core temps like freaking 90. What are you doing? This is the Team Never Quit podcast. podcast. So buckle up, Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs>